one. And welcome everyone here to our special coverage on our YouTube page right here, Fox 10 Phoenix of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy launch. And right now we have uh, from Florida, Cape Canaveral, Mike Magnoli with a preview of what we can expect. Mike. Hey there, Mike. We are coming to you from uh, the media area here at the Kennedy Space Center. Let me take a look at the countdown clock. It's right behind me. We are at zero, T minus zero hours. 59 minutes and 38 seconds. SpaceX saying that all systems are go, that the weather is cooperating, so tonight could be the night. Now they tried this last night and uh, you kind of got the vibe out here that it wasn't gonna happen because of the tweets that were coming from the SpaceX account and from Elon Musk himself talking about high level winds. And that's something that uh, obviously the folks on the ground couldn't see, didn't know about. But uh, up there, that wind shear was very problematic, and they need this launch to go over with zero problems. They can't have any setbacks because there's a lot of pressure on SpaceX for this one. This is the first time they've got a paying customer on top of the Falcon Heavy. It's a communication satellite for Saudi Arabia. It was built by Lockheed Martin, and the thing is roughly the size of a school bus. So, Mike, you have to imagine something that big and that heavy requires a rocket with a lot of power to get it into space. You got a live look at it right there, Falcon Heavy on the pad. Yeah, that I mean, that is truly amazing sight to see. And only with, this will be the second launch there for this for this heavy. Uh, it's going to be quite uh, amazing. Now, uh, Mike, can you tell us, I know it's hard to see from this shot, but what about uh, all the people that came uh, to Cape Canaveral? Uh, to view this. Is there a lot of people when you were uh, coming in? Oh my goodness, the fanfare and the excitement is incredible. There's a place not far from here, Jetty Park, another location called Cars Park, where you have folks who stake out their spot early in the day and they bring their picnic baskets and they are just standing by with butterflies hoping that tonight is going to be the night. And that's because these things are so spectacular to see in person, not just the launch, but with the Falcon Heavy, you have the main booster and the two side boosters that land. They deploy uh, these legs and they come back down. You know, I want you to think of like Mary Poppins with the magic umbrella. That's kind of how these things descend. And one of them is gonna land on a barge out in the Atlantic. The vessel is called, of course, I still love you. And the two side boosters are gonna come down and land pretty much simultaneously, if everything goes according to plan, at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. And then and there was some... Uh, and So it's quite something to see. Oh yeah, and, and they are expecting some sonic booms after that too, right? That's right, that's uh, in the landing part. Okay, when the boosters are coming back down, you hear these like one right after the other, like a thunderclap, sonic boom. So it's something to see and something to hear. This is my first time seeing the Falcon Heavy, but uh, back in March, I was out at KSC for Demo 1. That's when SpaceX had their capsule on top of a Falcon 9, that's the Dragon Crew capsule, and that is what will take American astronauts to the International Space Station. It's the first time in a long time since the cancellation of the shuttle program where American astronauts are gonna be on an American vehicle going to space. So that was quite incredible. But this is my first time uh, seeing Falcon Heavy up close and personal. There you go, what a sight it must be when uh, we're just less than 60 minutes away now. Mike Magnoli uh, reporting there live for us at Cape Canaveral. Thank you so much. Good to talk to you, Mike. Yep, have a great one. All right, and that was Mike Magnoli there uh, in Cape Canaveral. So thank you uh, to Mike and uh, for showing us just a little preview of what we can expect. Less than 60 minutes, we are hoping for a go for launch from SpaceX and the crew there at uh, Cape Canaveral and everyone at Mission Control. Uh, with the SpaceX heavy launch coming up in just a moment. You are watching coverage here on our YouTube channel.